Hey guys, I'm John, and already it looks like the camera's blurry. Uh, so yeah, just kind of a little bit of a thing to talk about. I've seen like two videos talk about this, like maybe like even three. Um, just a little like little experience. I talk about this a lot, but it's a fear I have called, I think it's called Alto something, Alto uh, something phobia uh like it's a <laughs> I, I should probably look it up but like yeah but if i exit out of this camera app like it will just stop recording and i can't put two uh, videos together on this camera alter alto cellarophobia i think that's what it's called and it's a fear of high ceilings now what is it like it's where like if the ceiling's, like, too high, like, I just get really nervous. There's a lot of different, like, interpretations of this fear. A lot of people are scared of floating up to the top. And some people are, like... Um, some people, like, are afraid something will fall on them. Kitty, get away from there. Come over here. Like, yeah... Like, that's the fear I have. Something, like, might fall on me. I, I just look up at the ceiling, I get dizzy. I, I feel like I'm going to fall over. Those aren't yours, kitty. Here. Over here. Don't touch the camera. Don't touch the tripod. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I probably should redo this, but I don't know. Yeah, how do I develop my fear of high ceilings? Uh, I remember once, uh, I think this was how I developed it, uh, but I uh, would sometimes go to my sister's school for like some sort of assembly or open house. One time in the gym, we were um, we were having like these sleeping bags in uh, the gym with like all the students and their siblings and parents. Uh, and I just felt so nervous, just laying down. I opened my eyes, I look up and see the high ceiling in the gym. Uh, like, yeah. I didn't. I don't think I had this fear before, but like, really, that's what developed. And shortly after that, I started going to elementary school, and that had a, a really high ceiling gym uh, that was pretty freaky to be in. And like, yeah, I'd just be so nervous during gym class, or if I was at somewhere like Walmart or at a museum or whatever. Yeah, I haven't seen too high of a ceiling. I've seen some pretty high ceilings uh, on like Google images. Kitty, no, th this these aren't yours. Uh, but yeah. It, it was just so freaky, especially when, like, my uh, my doctor's uh, building at one point uh, had a high ceiling in the main area. I would just get so nervous to go through there. And even, like, when I'm outside, because looking at the sky is pretty much the same feeling. And... I don't know how much I'm going to do this. It's going to be all live. Uh, well, it's not exactly live, but I'm not going to do any alternate takes or whatever. Uh, but yeah. What was I going to say? <laughs> uh, but yeah. And uh, really, like, it just kind of went, like, a bit crazy. I've just... Uh, get so nervous around high ceilings. I've gotten over it now, but it still gives me a nervous uh, feeling, really. Uh, but, like, that's all I really wanted to say, like, about high ceilings. Like, I know there's, like, some people have, like, high ceilings in uh, their house, in, the, like, their living room. I've met, like, two people, like, who have that. And, like, that's just freaky watching TV in there and sitting down. And looking up, sitting down or laying down makes, like, it feel much worse. Even, like, in a long room where it's no high ceiling but still pretty long, usually if it's, like, really empty, uh, that gives me that kind of feel. Uh, but, yeah. I think the high ceiling I've been to was, like, in a, this airport uh, near my uncle's house. That ceiling was very high up. And, yeah, we were trying to locate the baggage area and, like, yeah, that uh, gave me that that kind of feel. Uh, but yeah. But I like to know what your uh, views are on high ceilings. If you get freaked out by them. Like why you get freaked out on them. Uh, but yeah, see you later.